Hi, and welcome to another episode of the Assembly Lines Podcast. I'm your host, Chris Torrance. Today, we're going to take a journey into the forbidding and dangerous dark forest. So let's get started. So today we're going to take a look at the game Dark Forest by Sirius Software. My brother and I actually got this game back in probably 1981 or 82 as a Christmas present for my uncle. And we always really enjoyed the game. Uh, it's pretty straightforward. It's uh, like a turn-based strategy game similar in some respects to say the board game Risk where you play a bunch of different countries and you try to fight against either other people or against the GRUDs which are the uh, computer controlled uh, monsters that you're fighting against. So recently I wanted to actually play this game with my daughter but when I went ahead and tried to play it on my Apple IIc uh, it wouldn't boot and let me show you what happened when I tried to boot it. Alright so here's the disc and it all starts out okay and it starts to boot but then once it gets past the title screen uh, it just crashes um, and I couldn't figure out quite what was going on I thought the disk was corrupt uh, but I tried it on my Apple II Plus and it worked fine alright and then just freezes so if we switch back to text mode by doing C051 colon zero zero uh, you can see that word just dumped into the monitor and I dug around a little bit more and found out that the crash was happening actually right around uh, address C33, which was causing the trouble. And here you can see we're doing some sort of setup on the game just before we start. And one thing we do is we do a bit instruction with location E006. And this turns out to be right near the beginning of AppleSoft uh, Basic. And E006 on an Apple II Plus contains a 00. However, in Integer Basic, it actually contains an 85. And so I think what this code was doing is it was checking to see were you in Integer Basic or AppleSoft Basic, and then it would branch accordingly. The trouble is on an enhanced Apple IIe and an Apple IIc, this location E006 actually contains a non-zero value and in this case it contains a C4 and so then the code takes the wrong branch here as if it was integer ROM and it just crashes. So to fix this all I did was actually I hacked the disk so that instead of looking at location E006 instead we look at E009 which is a different location in AppleSoft that contains a zero value for both uh, the Apple II Plus AppleSoft as well as the enhanced Apple IIe AppleSoft. Uh, but in Integer Basic, it still contains a non-zero value. So it maintains the backwards compatibility for Integer Basic, but allows Dark Forest to work with more modern uh, enhanced Apple IIe's. In the process of doing this though, I actually discovered an interesting glitch that existed inside Dark Forest. And so I'll just go ahead and demonstrate that now. And what I was trying to do is basically get it to go past this point on my Apple IIe. And so I just looked at the jump where it jumps here down to C46 if you're on an Apple II Plus. And so if you just say C46 go, then I was hoping that the game would actually keep going. Uh, but instead it put me into this kind of very cool mode which is like a high-res graphics text mode and the funny thing is is if you type some characters you can actually get some of the characters within the Dark Force game so for example if I type exclamation point quote pound then this is the specter which is one of the creatures inside the game that eats some of your men also you can type something like dollar sign percent 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 this is the magician's wand and the magician will grant you certain uh, benefits in the game as well this is actually a high-res library that exists on the disk itself 
and if we can actually muck around with it some more and I poked around and I found that the size of the text is controlled by location 30C and right now it's set to uh, zero but instead if we switch this to 40 uh, we can get very wide text if we switch to 80 we get tall and skinny text so you can see here if we switch to uh, C0 then we get gigantic text so this is like the weirdest thing I think I've ever seen on my Apple IIe. Um, and it's even cooler if we get out to basic. So once this is done listing, look at that nice quote character there. All right, so we've seen that there's some sort of high res text package that must have been included in Dark Forest. And you never actually see these giant characters within the game. So I'm not quite sure what was going on there, whether it was some library. Uh, that Tom Mornini uh, wrote, he was actually the author of the game, uh, or something that Sirius wrote and included. But anyway, I've now patched the game so that it should boot, and then we can explore further. So let me go ahead and reboot, and this is now using the past version, which should get past the bad uh, check for Applesoft. All right, so you can see we got past the boot screen and here's the beginning of the game. Dark Forest Series Software, programmed by Tom Mornini. Uh, game designed by Jerry Jewell, who was one of the founders of Sirius Software. So I'm just gonna break out real quick. So Dark Forest is written in Applesoft Basic uh, with some helper assembly routines. We can just list that out and you can see that this just starts the game. Here's the title screen. Here's the high-res text, here's the sound files, it just b-loads those, and then it just runs dark, which is the main Applesoft program. So if we b-load HT, the high-res text, then we can go ahead and once this is loaded up, we can go into assembly and take a look at it. And this just starts at uh, B00 and goes on from there. Uh, the code that we were looking at before uh, is right around C24. And you can see here, here's my bit that was causing all the trouble and I've changed it now to E009 instead of E006. And this lets it jump down past the bad section for integer basic. Um, again, we can go ahead and look at our giant text. So if I just do C46Go, uh, now we're in uh, high-res text mode and then I can say 30C uh, C0 to get giant text off so we can 10 print hello 20 go to 10 run All right, so here's Dark Forest itself, and I'll just do a really quick uh, gameplay of it just to kind of show you what it looks like. So you have a map, and there's six castles that you have, and then here's the Dark Forest. So we'll start the game. I'm going to pick my castle. I'll pick castle number one. All right, so it says the Gruds have taken over the remaining castles. So you can see I'm player one. I have one man in here. Grud is player zero. They have one man in each of these castles. And then I have to choose my territories and place my men. And I'll just try and take over as much of the map as I can because whatever I don't take over, the Gruds will take over. Okay, there's the specter that we saw earlier in text. And oop, there's the magician. Okay, oh, he gave me a boat. And here come the Gruds, they multiply like crazy. So you have to try and take over as much territory as you can as quickly as possible, otherwise you will lose. 
All right, so that's Dark Forest, and I'll go ahead and put the disk images up on the Internet Archive along with a dump of the AppleSoft listing of the program. If you have any questions, be sure to uh, post them down in the comments. And otherwise, thanks for watching.